Buenos nachos and welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're gonna be opening up this Xbox debug kit. Reason being is that we have obtained it. And of course, just like any collector's item, you would probably just put it up on the shelf and forget about it. But what if I were to tell you that it's not exactly the safest thing to do, especially with aging technology like this. You could be having capacitors leaking right now and that'll ruin the value of this amazing piece of gaming history. And you have only yourself to blame. Without further ado, let's go ahead and open this thing up and see if it's fit to sit on our shelf. I'm assuming somebody had already opened up the console because, well, uh, looks like the holes are exposed. Yeah. I'm assuming that it was done by the seller. That way they could dump the hard drive for preservation purposes and post it on the internet. Pirate. Doing illegal things. We're going to be using our T10 and, of course, the T8, was it? Yes. Whoa, I'm mistaken. It's going to be the T15. You'd figure after having done probably hundreds of Xboxes at this point, I would have memorized which bit to use. It's the momentous of truth here. I'm expecting it to look nice and clean inside, which it does look like it is. However, it looks like one of the screw posts is busted. That's not great. All right, I think we need a T8 this time, and this is a, watch it be, a, it's a T10. I'm mistaken once again. Damn. Probably gonna be needing some coffee if I'm making this many mistakes. When it comes to these debug consoles, I don't know if the serial number correlates with the board version inside, like it does for the retail units. Now, if you take a look at this one here, it says that it's manufactured in 2002, November 22nd, and it has a daughter board for the USB. Let's go ahead and power on the microscope and take a real close look at how all this stuff looks. So we're gonna start by inspecting the CPU capacitor area. Now, right now, these do not look like they're bulged, not even on the bottom, which is very surprising. Now, this is by far one of the cleanest consoles I have ever opened. I am extremely surprised. Someone had to have been in here prior, opened this thing up, and did a little bit of work because I am not seeing anything of question at the moment. And of course, you know it's a development kit because we have our four RAM bricks. And of course, we have that TSOP right there, and the LPC debug header comes populated. There's a sticker indicating that it is a debug console, XDK 2K R4. Everything looks great in here, power supply and the motherboard. Let's go ahead and unscrew this thing and take a look at the back. Now, because I didn't have enough coffee this morning, I ended up missing something. I wonder if anyone caught this before I did. The seller cut the clock capacitor off. Lazy man's clock capacitor removal. And as you can tell, it's still populated. Most likely just violently bent the hell out of the thing and then cut off the legs and then vacuumed up their evidence. Uh, that said though, I would say this XDK, as it's commonly termed, is in immaculate condition, very clean. The console will most likely provide many more years of use. And I would say that in its present condition, at least for this one, it's good to keep on the shelf. But does this thing work? All right, let's go ahead and power on the console. Now well, it looks like it is indeed working. Is it gonna complain about the time? Of course. This is, of course, the standard menu. Now to boot into the XDK menu. And in order to boot into the XDK menu, you hold down power. And it looks like we have a couple of executables there. Dolphin Classic, Gamepad. Doesn't look like we have any games on here, which I'm kind of surprised. Well, it looks like this dev kit is functional. If you found this video helpful or useful, please remember to leave us a like and subscribe. And remember, check your capacitors. Until next time.